As many people know, Allah himself claims in ayahs like chapter 3, ayah 54, to be the best of deceivers. Most gullible Muslims who don't even know the Arabic language will try to mock you when you bring this up because you simply don't speak the Arabic language, right? And they will try to tell you, Maker does not mean deceiver. Of course, most of you know by now that Maker or Maker in the Arabic language is used when someone is going to do an evil act. It's never used in a positive way. It's not a thing to be proud of. Because when you deceive someone, you're doing the work of Satan. So when Allah claims to be the best deceiver, that means here Allah already made it crystal clear to be Satan himself in disguise. Yet Muslim translators and apologists will give you all kind of false translations for the word makr, deception, and makr, deceiver. But we Arabic-speaking Christians know better, and we only use these evil words, deception, makr, or deceiver, makr, when we talk about evil acts. Even the context of the ayah makes it clear that it's not a good deed. They deceived and Allah deceived, but for sure Allah is the best of deceivers. <laughs> but you don't need to be a genius to see that both parties are committing an evil act. But Allah is still the best who deceives, and he will out-deceive anyone else because he is the best, remember? He is the best deceiver. But Allah has many other nicknames in the Quran, and he really tried his best to tell us that he is Satan in disguise. And now we are going to show you other evil names of Allah used in the Quran. And I have my good Muslim friend Ali Dawa who will help us in exposing his Allah. This is a part of our religion. There's a reason to it. Yeah, there's a reason why there's a capital punishment. Because people like you, little weaklings, who leave their religion and cause uh, corruption in the land by spreading it, the capital punishment in Islamic law would be applied to you. We have no doubt. And we're proud of that. Yeah. <laughs> As you see, Ali Dawa made it clear, when you leave Islam and become an apostate, that means you will be someone who causes mischief or corruption in the land. That means capital punishment will be applied to you and practicing Muslims like Ali Dawa is proud of that. Now here is my question to Muslims like this peaceful and friendly Ali Dawa here. If we can prove that Allah is the best mischief maker, the one who causes corruption in the land, would you apply capital punishment to Allah as well? Would you take your sword out and hack Allah's head off? as well, Ya Ali Dawa, for causing mischief and corruption in the land? Hmm. Here is a list of names of Allah which I found in the Quran. And Allah really wants to explain to us in his Quran that he is truly the real Satan in disguise. We already discussed al makr Let us show you al fatan the mischief maker in chapter 25, ayah 20 of the Quran. وَجَعَلْنَا بَعْضَكُمْ لِبَعْضٍ فِتْنَةً And we, meaning Allah, caused among you fitna, meaning mischief or corruption. So who is the mischief maker here in the ayah? Of course, Allah. Allah is causing mischief or corruption among people. So what is then the job of Satan in Islam? If Allah took over his job, it seems that Allah is trying to tell us that he fired Satan and he took over his evil duties. Here is another example. Al-Mutakabbir, the arrogant. We can find this name of Allah in chapter 59, ayah 23. Ad-Dar, the distresser or the one who causes harm. We can find this name of Allah in chapter 6, ayah 17 of the Quran. The question here is, why would Allah first cause harm to anyone and then remove the harm? Does Allah have no other job to do? Or does Allah have nothing better to do than to troll people as if Muslims are puppets in the hands of Allah? Please try to convince us, ya Muslimun, that your Allah is not an evil god of mischief and harm. Another example. Al-Mudil, the misleader or humiliator, the one who misguides people. We can find this name of Allah in chapter 14, ayah 4, for example. So why would anyone who is not brainwashed in Islam, or anyone who cares about his salvation, or his precious soul, 
or the truth want to worship such an evil false god? On top of that, did Muhammad himself knew what Allah would do to him? Would Allah misguide Muhammad? Would Allah send him to hellfire? If we go to Surah Al-Ahqaf, Ayah 9, we read that even the supposed final prophet Muhammad, and supposedly the best example, he himself did not know what Allah would do to him. <laughs> so, ya Muslimun, if your prophet did not know, how do you know? Where is your guarantee to go to Jannah instead of hellfire? Either you're going to follow this evil cult of Allah, who is nobody else but Satan in disguise, or you are going to leave Islam, drop the false prophet Muhammad, and hopefully come back home to your Lord and my Lord, Jesus Christ, glory to his name. The real living and loving God who does not misguide or cause harm to someone like Allah, or let alone cause mischief among people. Please leave Islam.